everybody and welcome out to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. My name is Chris Yee and today we're taking a look at Matthew Dunstan and Brett J. Gilbert's The Guild of Merchant Explorers. That's a bunch of Euro game terms all in one. Uh, I gotta say though, I do really like the sepia box. Um, this is gonna be, uh, and it's got that nice little uh, ocean kind of thing underneath it. AEG is the publisher. Dunstan and Gilbert have done a lot of really great combo games together. Uh, this one here says 45 minutes of playtime, 1 through 4 players, for age 14 plus, simultaneous play. Based on exactly what I'm seeing here, I assume that this is kind of a roll and write ish style game, but it's going to have some pieces. Uh, it's going to have cubes that you set out, and that you're probably going to connect different parts of the kingdom. <coughs> the Queen has sent out a call to the Guild of Merchant Explorers, asking brave adventurers to voyage to all corners of the kingdom of Tigome. While the kingdom is flourishing, its maps have not been updated in some time, and its great cities have lost contact with one another. You, with your team of explorers, you'll journey over rough seas, towering mountains, vast deserts, and lush grass grasslands to establish trade routes between cities and discover new villages that have emerged. I mean, it's very intentional, this color, this, this coloring scheme. Some people are going to argue, oh man, this is just like brown, this is just tan, like many, many, many a Euro game. But, uh, I mean, they're, it's very intentional. It's not for lack of making it look good. I think this looks pretty good here. You've got multiple maps here. These are linen finish, so they feel pretty cool. You've got Avania. You've got Aghan. You've got... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Nidaria. Kazan. Uh, are there any other alternate apps? Nope. So you got four maps out the gate, and they're all of different arrangements and such. You got a board here, a central board. Let's take a look, uh, quick look, see through the rule book. See what's going on here. Ooh, okay, good. Large rule book, but you know, not too much text per thing. Uh, this is the flavor text here on the side. So you got an exploration board. You got some tokens and pieces and stuff. Goal cards. Explore cards of nine different types, uh, and investigation cards and treasure cards. So it sounds like you're going around the board and you're going to put pieces out. Um, oh, four sets of player tokens. Got it. So the, the cubes and, and stuff, all in player color. So you set up the maps. It looks like you revealing cards in the exploration deck. Each turn, one player reveals the top card of the exploration deck and places it, place it to the matching space of the exploration board. All players place explorers from the supply... Uh, onto their own map according to the actions on the card. So everyone, it, like, there's roll and write style, you know, type of thing going on. Um, but I'm curious, right? I'm curious why this isn't just a roll and write game, because a lot of times when you put pieces out, you end up manipulating them in different ways that you wouldn't want to just write and erase. So curious about that. Solo mode rules here in the back, an almanac explaining the differences and stuff in each map, I'm guessing. Reference of the different cards. Special thanks. Legendary Explorers, eh, that's fine if you put stuff in there, like if you want to um, keep track of different things and solo plays or whatever. So you got the maps, like I said. They look cool. I, I do like the look of this. So these are the nine uh, exploration cards that could come out, and so then you cover up what it is when you, when you see that. Whoo, that's a lot of coins! Blamo, blamo, bl That's kind of a cool way to do the coins to do it with a, a three-dimensional look. To, I like the look of that a lot, actually. Um, that looks really sharp by having, yeah, the, the, the angled look at it. These ruby pieces, however, are very small. Woo! Okay. I'm surprised because everything else in the box, the box seems large, the map seems large and everything. So there's those. You got some treasure chests over here. And these look like new villages that you'll discover along the way. Uh, so there's the pre-printed cities and then new stuff that you'll discover. Um, so yeah, that's one one sheet of punch-outs. You got some... Well, let's look at the wood pieces, then we'll look at the cards. So you got your obelisks here. It's cool. They look like rockets. That's going to be a more violent version that Camilla plays. Uh, and then you got... You got some cubes. You got some castles. Uh, and is that it? Cubes and castles in each of the player colors. Uh, the player colors that they chose are 
you know, they're darker colors. It's not like this is not a bright yellow. This is like a, this is like a Dijon yellow, you know, fancy. And then this isn't just teal. This is a Dijon teal. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these cards, and then we'll wrap up the video. Oh, are you going to peel? Mm. These cards might be hard to open, but they've got a peel. Ho ho! I'm getting the knife. Oh, right, Tiden. Let's see if I can slice this open here. Blammo! Nailed it! First try. Just a quick look at some of these different uh, gold cards it looks like. Discover five villages. I'm guessing first person do it. Every other player. Discover villages on three different lands. First person, every other player. So, all right. And then these look like objectives that you can do based on the, uh, based on which map you're playing on, which makes sense because I saw one that said something about like islands and I was like, what if you're playing on a map that doesn't have islands? But so it's different if you're playing on Kazan or Nidaria, is how I'm going to pronounce that one. Hence, forth and forever. Now let's open up these cards here, because I know that said that these are going to be some of the exploration cards, but maybe some other things too. So like these are the, you know, so these are the nine cards that could come out and get placed onto the exploration board. Head upside down. Blast! Now I look like a fool on the internet! And then uh, different special, special action or special goal type card things that you can do. And I'm guessing that these work on on any map, they all say investigate along the top. And then it's probably some scoring. Oh, okay, this is probably like, you know, you can mix up the scoring objectives from game to game. Those have coins. I'm guessing the coins are points to something. All right, so anyway, that's enough speculation from me, but that's just a quick look at what comes inside the box of uh, this game, which is called the Guild of Merchant Explorers. Thank you so much for coming by another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. Have yourselves a fantastic day.